in the past few years, I have tested and reviewed a handful of vintage Soviet lenses, but so far, none of them has resonated with me. But, as I said at the end of the Hades review, this is not the end of this review. I want to try it, along with the Mir 1B, on a film camera. Try them in the environment they were built for. Maybe that will make me change my mind and appreciate them more. So stick around, because sometime in the future we'll see how these lenses perform on an analog film camera. It has been far longer than I had planned, but I finally managed to shoot a roll of Kodak Color Plus 200 using the Practica MTL5, the Industar 50-2, the Helios 44M, and the Mir 1V. Let me show you the pictures that I took, and after that we'll talk about them a little bit more. In terms of handling and usability, the Helios was the most straightforward, and the couple of times that I missed focus were mostly my fault. The Industar was a bit of a struggle, partially because of its size, but partially because I found it imprecise and hard to focus, just as I did on digital. Shooting with the mirror wasn't a pleasant experience either. While I do understand how the preset aperture work, I still found it cumbersome and somewhat confusing. Sure, it is a matter of practice, but I just don't like it. Plus, focusing wasn't precise either. Moving to image quality, the Helios takes the crown again, consistently producing images rich in detail and with pleasant colors. The Industar is softer and it lacks a bit of detail even when stopped down. It produces warmer tones with less contrast. The mirror is comparable in sharpness to the Industar and it has similar colors to the Helios, except when it doesn't. Sometimes it just produces different colors and I don't know why. And to be clear, I scanned the negatives myself, so this is just how the colors turned out. So has this experience changed my opinion on these lenses? Well, yes and no. I do like the Helios more now, I think it really comes to its own on film. It has a very specific look that is not suitable for every kind of photography, but I do appreciate it now. 
On the other hand, I have confirmed that I don't like the Mir and the Indostar. They have turned out to be too unreliable and inconsistent. Well, that is all for today. Let me know in the comments if you have any experience shooting these lenses on film. And as always, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!